The old air pump. Everybody's probably got one of these. <clears throat> Shitty built air pump. <clears throat> Take the alligator clips, hook it onto your battery. To get to your battery, you gotta pop the hood. That's kind of like an international call sign for I've got trouble. So if you've ever been like me, and it's happened many times, you're airing up on the side of the road and you got this plugged into the hood, people stop and want to see if you need help. And then, if you want to air up the back tires, you gotta hook on this little cheap ass yellow flimsy hose to get the back tires. All this stuff has a nice little carrying bag. Doesn't take up a whole lot of room. You can get these for under $100. I think this was a buck and a quarter maybe. Uh, you can pay $200 for these. All depends on better ones. This is no good. Takes forever. 20 minutes minimum on this to get it out, fill it up, put it all back together. Wanna see what I'm doing? Ah! Do -do -do -do. 10 pound CO2 tank. A regulator and a hose. It really is simple. It can be really inexpensive. So for example, you can buy these power tanks. Lifetime warranty. Well made, well pretty quality power tank for $681. It's got a few more bells and whistles. It's got the tank, it's got the regulator, it's got the hose, it's got a cheap Chinese uh, trigger with a digital readout. Really cool, but if you read the reviews on them, it won't last you more than one season if you're lucky. It's got a handle for carrying it, like you can't carry it by this. And it's got a rack, kind of like one you'd have for the older fire extinguishers or the bigger fire extinguishers with a little ratchet thing on it. And you get all that for $681. There's another one on eBay, better price, same thing, no lifetime warranty, it's $400. I will have links to all this stuff in the description as usual. This I did a la carte on my own and it only costing me $230. Now, here's what I found out for me personally, what became the biggest deal. You gotta have these things refilled. Where are you gonna get it refilled? What's closest to you? What's most convenient? How do they work? Call them, talk to them, walk in there if they're really close. And the closest one to me is 30 miles away. It's air gas. They will take your tank and they will refill it, but you gotta drop it off. It's like they got two times a week that they refill it. So you gotta leave it there for three days and then come back. I don't wanna do that. What they really want you to do is called a cylinder exchange. You bring this whole thing in right here, $30. You pick up another cylinder and you're out of there. Quick, easy, in and out. No back and forth. No saving your special tank. It's just a tank. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care the color of it. I don't need the possession of it if I can exchange it for $30 every time. So what I did was I found this used on eBay. Cost me $100 shipping and for the tank. It's got a brand new stamp on here of 1120. That's when it was last certified. The valve on here looks pretty damn brand new to me. I don't care. I bought the cheapest one I could find because I'm walking it in at the end of this video and we're gonna exchange it out. Regulators, 100 bucks. Regulator, nothing to it. It's got the quick connect hose thing on here. There's only one place to screw this on the tank. You can't do it wrong. There's only one way the threads will go. You can't do that wrong because you're gonna have to strip this down yourself and you take it in either for a refill, need a crescent wrench, hold it where you want it, tighten it down, boom, you're good to go. Once you leave that on there, you don't need to do that every time. Now, here's my hose, $29 hose. It's 20 feet. I took, and everybody's got one of these in your garage if you've got any type of air compressor, fill chuck and quick connect, which I already had, did not have to buy. That's how I can fill this up, $230. Do you need a 20 foot hose? No, 10 foot hose is fine, because you can just pick this up, carry it over to each wheel, one at a time, all your little stuff, and then if you're gonna be doing this a bunch, 
or quite frequently, you can just leave this all hooked up. And here, check this out, check this out. Remember this? This was the, came in the box that the <clears throat> juiced bike came with. I just beveled out the edges a little bit. It fits perfectly centered in the back seat here. I don't need a handle. I can carry it by the regulator and the valve here. Undo the hose, the hose wherever you wish to put the hose. And then the tank lays down here. Everything is protected by this door. You can watch it close. No problem. I still got room. Actually, that, that looks pretty good right there. That looks really good, doesn't it? I didn't think it was going to be as easy as that. I kind of shied away from it. That and the $681 price was too much. All right, let's get it ready to go exchange. You just take your crescent wrench, loosen this up, put it away. Doesn't seem like there's too much to it. I will save the box just because you fill it up with a hose, a regular chuck, you check it with your regular air gauge. You can spend more money on fancier shit, make it a little bit easier, one less thing to carry. It's up to you. This is just to give you some ideas and what's your minimum, minimum cost to get this. Now let's go get this refilled and watch how easy that procedure is gonna be. Looks like I've been recording for about nine minutes. Oh wow, that's that's interesting. So it's 28.19 for the 10 pound exchange and then there's a hazmat charge of another 677. Total sales with tax, 37 and a half bucks for a refill. But as you saw, I got an aluminum tank with a handle. Okay, that is why it is important to know what you're doing for an exchange or a refill. So as you saw, I bought the cheapest tank that I could get and I exchanged it for an aluminum with a handle on here. And air gas, heat shrinks, their valves close, that's interesting. I mean, hey, come on, y'all. This is my first time, too. So we're all learning this stuff on my dime here. Let's finish up the assembly. The uh, guard even has a notch out on it. So you can get your wrench on there. Pretty good. Okay, there's a pretty neat little hose mechanism, the way the coil allows the end pieces to uh, hide inside the coil. All right, oh yeah, and this thing even swivels and slides around. So, if I've done my homework correctly, let me turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. You open up the valve, and it's gonna tell you the pressure. Doesn't take a whole lot to open it up. 650, I'd say 650 pounds per square inch coming out. Now, you open this up, and you can see the coil taking thing. You're supposed to go to about 150. There's your air. It's that simple. Close that up. When you close it up, it's got a valve where it releases all the pressure on its own. And then you can drop that down. And now you're good to go. And I really like this hose, mainly because it does allow all quick connect so you can use it for air power tools, 
But I guess if you do a bicycle, then you could open this up to, uh, you know, say 50 pounds per square inch. But that's it, man. I'm good. $230 plus, say, another $40 for the actual gas. $270. And I'm in business. Hi, right, man. That's it. I'm out of here. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya.